Well, speaking of the abbot who worshipped at my feet, I think religion has gotten a little over the top in America of late. I mean, just a little cuckoo. Anyway, I have discovered that over two-thirds of all Americans believe in the devil and that he directly affects their lives. Let's see, that's you, you, that's not you, not me. Okay, well, anyway, it got me to thinking. Now I know it's the devil who tempts me to crime and to sin and corruption and worse. But I find while trying to resist him time after time, I just can't quite believe he's a curse. For in fact, I believe the reverse. What a blessing to know there's a devil and that I'm but a pawn in his cane. That my impulse to sin doesn't come from within, and so I'm not exactly to blame. What a blessing to know there's a devil ever leading me into some vice. And though easily led, I can hold up my head knowing I'm fundamentally nice. What relief, oh what blessed relief, that a thief is by nature no thief. And a liar is merely the innocent buyer of lies from the liar-in-chief. So, of course, the remorse may be brief. What a blessing to know there's a devil, and that I'm but a pawn in his game. For I never do wrong until he comes along, and so I'm not exactly the one who's to blame. It's a fact, it's a comforting fact, that the soul remains whole and intact, facing fraud and deceit, a forbidden sweet meat, or some game in which cards have been stacked. With, for with this thought, for when caught in the act. What a blessing to know there's a devil, and that we are not exactly to blame. For all guile and all greed and each rotten misdeed which might blacken the sweet mankind's good name. What a blessing to know there's a devil or we'd all simply die.